Good morning, good morning, good morning, baseball players and softball players, and even coaches, instructors. Um, I'm walking into my cage right now, about to work with a player on some defense. Saturday morning, like 9.30 a.m., I work with this kid every morning um, on some defensive stuff. But I wanted to go over um, a couple things that I think could benefit you guys. So, when you're working on a craft, whether it's hitting, fielding, you're in the gym, whatever it is that you're working on, right? I see tons of players that will, let's talk about hitting specifically. I see them get off of a tee and just hit. And they'll hit for hours on end and you know they'll take 200, 300, 400 swings, right? I love the effort. I love the effort. I love that you're putting in the work, but we gotta be smart about the work that we do, right? For instance, if you take 200 swings and I take 25 swings, but my 25 swings are quality and your 200 swings are not quality, who, and I'm pretty sure you guys know the answer, is getting the effective work. It's me, the person who's swinging 25 times at a quality basis. The other 200 swings, there might be some quality in there, but I'll tell you what, if you have more bad swings than good in there, what are you doing? You're creating bad habits, right? So that old saying where quality over quantity, quality over quantity, it exists, especially in baseball. I would prefer one of my hitters to take, like I said, 25 swings that are good in quality and crisp versus 100 swings that are just inconsistent all over the place and you know me mechanically flawed, right? So don't, don't get it twisted when you think that you're doing a lot that it's actually benefiting you. Yes, I, I love the effort. I love that you're putting in the work because that's what it's all about is putting in the work. But at some point, we gotta take a step back and we have to realize what type of work are we putting in. Is the work that we're putting in quality, right? At some point, whether you're hitting, you're fielding, you're throwing, you're in the gym, you're running, it doesn't matter. At some point when you get there with your swing, with your, with your uh, delivery, with the way your base and setup is on defense, the way mechanically you're lifting, your form running, whatever it is you're working on, at some point when you get to where you wanna be, guess what we're doing? We're in maintenance mode. We come in, we knock out what we're supposed to do correctly at a certain amount of reps, and then you move on to the next thing. We don't just do something you know, 100, 150 times and do it inconsistently because then we're always searching how to get back to where we wanna be. If you're where you wanna be with your swing, get in the cage, hit, take your routine, and you're in maintenance mode. Our goal at that point is to keep it there. If you're doing all kinds of other things to revert from where you're at, it's hard to keep it there, right? Big league hitters, you'll walk into the cage. Most of them aren't working on stuff mechanically. I mean, they're big leaguers, right? They're trying to hone and maintain the swing that they have. When I'm taking ground balls in the middle infield, I'm honing the defensive skill set that I already have and I wanna keep it there. And I'm getting my reps in, my routine, my maintenance, right? So, if I could give you any advice as you're working, and like I said, whatever it is, hitting, fielding, throwing, gym, form running, whatever you're working on, go do it with a purpose, right? Do it at a quality basis and forget about the quantity. I'm not saying just go do 10 of them, right? And then get out of there. But I'm saying if you start getting to the point where you're hitting off the tee and you're getting tired and mechanically you're breaking down and you're starting to create bad habits, I would think at that point we're defeating the purpose of what we're working on, right? So don't, we like to call this in Pro Bowl, we call it eyewash. Don't just do stuff in just for people to look at you and think that you're doing stuff. Do it with a purpose. If you're gonna take the time, you're gonna take the effort, you're gonna drive somewhere, you know, miles and miles away to go work with someone, go put in the work with a purpose on a quality 
basis, okay? If you could take a thousand swings off the tee and they can be absolutely perfect, great. Take a thousand swings off the tee and be absolutely perfect. But from my experience, the more and more, I mean, we're human beings, we're gonna get tired at some point. Your shoulders can get tired, your arms, your hands, your legs, and mechanically we will start to revert back and create bad habits. My goal is when I get guys in here, I'm trying to get them to where I can keep them. When, once I get them at a spot and we're feeling good, I wanna keep them there. How do I keep them there? That's the goal, right? Or else we're always searching, we're always constantly making adjustments. Best players in the world, they make adjustments and they can make them quickly on the fly. For example, hitters, right? Most big league guys, they don't slump. Um, you know, they're not going three for 60. They might hit a three for 30. They might hit a two for 25, whatever. But for the most part, those guys are turning that really quick. You know, they're, they're, not, they're not searching games and games and games. They're trying to figure out, okay, how can I make an adjustment in between at bats? And then even further, how can I make an adjustment in between pitches? That's how fast they're making the adjustments. The majority of the time they're able to make those adjustments is because they're always in a quality point of their hitting, their fielding, their throwing or whatever. They're always quality, they feel good and they maintain that. So my advice would be on this kind of long-winded video is when you get into a cage on the field or whatever, always think about that. It, it is true, quality over quantity. Get in there, do it with a purpose, do it right, and you don't need to do a million reps at a pointless basis. If you're doing a million reps and it's pointless, guess what, it's pointless. So get in there, work. I enjoy you guys working and putting in the effort. Let's keep doing it and get you guys going to the next level because at the end of the day, it's your career and you're the one that's trying to separate yourself from the next player and the competition. You have goals, you can get them. You wanna go to D1, you can get there. If you don't get to D1, you can dominate D2. You wanna go to NAI? I went to JUCO for two years, right? I went to junior college. Out of high school, I had one offer, Bethany College in Kansas, and I almost went. I don't like the cold though. So JUCO for two years, then I got drafted, played pro ball for 10, 11 years, and really, you gotta take advantage of whatever situation you're in. But whatever work that you're putting in, Make sure that it's quality and make sure you're doing it with the purpose. So I hope this helps you guys out. Have a good Saturday. Let's go.